I think that's a little different. Ah, and I can charge rent and adjust that. Good, good, that'll come in handy. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Ostriv. And our little town is coming along quite nicely, even if I do say so myself. We've got houses set up for everyone. Everyone has got their own house now, so nobody's going to run away when winter happens. We've got our smithy up and running so we can make our own nails. We've got a thatchery going on. We have a farm that's completely useless because it's far too late in the growing season to be doing anything. But Basically, everything is kind of ticking along here. Did I actually employ anyone in the smithy? I see, yeah, okay, it's got a couple of workers. So a couple of folks are down there making nails. That's excellent. Uh, don't bother with the metal parts or the horseshoes quite at this point, guys. Don't sweat those. Oh, and our new cart parking is done. Good. Well, then I'm going to delete this cart. I'm going to get rid of this. Except I apparently can't do that until I tell them where to put the cart. So put a cart... Oh, they need to make a cart. Okay, get rid of that for a sec. Can you not just move the carts that we've got over to the other cart parking? Because it's like right there, guys. It's right there. Okay, they, the game seems to be very, very fussy about me building the carpentry thing, so let's get that rocking and rolling then. Okie doke, carpentry. Fairly straightforward. 5,100 wood and 102 nails. Now, where I'd like to put this right down by the smithy. In fact, if I could get that to, oh, if I can just get this to nudge right up here. Oh, perfect. Love it. Love it. Thank you, 360 degree building rotation. And thank you for not having a really fussy extended border outside of the building. I'm going to like those two put together like that. Oh, okay, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. We just need to move this, yeah, right to there. There we go, and you go over there, and you go over there. Okay, so there is a way to relocate them. They can figure that out. Now can I delete this uh, when the carts are moved? Okay, that's fine. What else have I got in the center of town? Because I'd really like to get rid of all the initial shantytown tent setup that they have. We've got storage. Okay, it would be a really good idea if we had storage. That would be great. And the camp center, which is really my town hall. Okay. And 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 the well. The well can pretty much stay there. What are you? You're a bench, and you're a bench, and you are a campfire. Okay, I'd like to get rid of literally everything and replace it with things that actually look nice. Well, Pyman here is just loading up the first pieces of wood for the new carpentry building. I'm going to go ahead and just queue up storage. I may as well get that going. Where is that again? Is that trade and transport warehouse? Yeah, that seems like exactly the sort of thing that I want. Get me that and let's have that live. I really want this to be super centrally located if we can. So how close could I get it to say there? There we go. This is a lot for them to be doing right now, but... We don't really have a lot else going on. It's kind of a quiet time in Ostrib right now, so I may as well get these going. And then the town hall. Can I can I actually build that yet? Yes, I can. Okay, I need to figure out where that's going to live. I think I'd like to see the town hall somewhere around here. This seems to be sort of the entrance to the town is how this is kind of coming together. So you come in from this neck of the woods over here, and then the town sort of blossoms out as you're walking through it. So I'm going to put the town hall, give me that please, right over, oh, it's big. It's a big building. I didn't quite plan on it being that big. It could live right here. I wanted it to look like that. Well, I could still do that, but now that looks funny. All right, let's Adrian Monk this up a little bit. This can live right here. So kind of a busy area as you first come into town and then you walk through. This will eventually be kind of a market square is my thought. We'll have storage over here. We'll have some production things. And then as I get all of this demolished, I want to put up whatever we can do in terms of trading and shopping and that kind of thing in the center of town. Well, now what's going on down here? What's the problem here? Not enough workers. Okay, why is that? We have dedicated workers here. Ah, we're waiting to hire people. People might be a little bit too busy with the building. Okay, I'll see if that corrects itself when I've got all of this stuff put together, but that's not so good because we kind of need three people in forestry, 
two to chop the trees, one to chop the log, and now I've just got one person with an axe, I would assume. Well, carpentry is completed, and that looks good. I like the way I was able to nudge those two up together. It looks like one big building. Very nice. Very happy with that. It is about to be November, which is sort of wintry, or at least it is in my neck of the woods, and I'm sure it probably is around here. I really hope everyone's got enough food, because I have not provided you with any. I have given you exactly no food, unless you can eat thatch because the Thatchery is going gangbusters. The Thatchery is doing really, really well. Um, food production, not not as well, not as well. I'm, I'm not gonna lie about that. And we're having some trouble keeping up with the nail issue. So we are making nails, but not very quickly. I suppose it probably takes time to make a nail. I honestly have no idea how fidgety that is. Somebody go Google that. I mean, you've got to make a lot of them. It, it must be fairly quick to do, but it also seems like a really fidgety thing to make because they're so small. Anyway, wood is doing fine, despite the fact that car the uh, forestry thing is down for the count right now. We've got some wood. We've got plenty of thatch and reed. The thatchery is just annihilating everyone else in terms of workforce. Those ladies are killing it right now. And we have quite a bit of charcoal. We don't need any. I made it by accident because I thought it was going to help with something, but we've got it. We've got plenty of it. So when we do need charcoal, boy, are we going to have a whole lot of charcoal. Oh, the, um, the storage is almost done. Excellent. Good. Then you've just got to do the town hall and then hopefully some of you can get back to chopping trees. Well, there's our storage facility. Now, are they going to move things over here automatically? Take from other warehouses. Yeah, absolutely do that. Can I employ people? Yes. Yes, I can. Add a resource. Well, all of it. I mean, everything. I want all the things in here, please. I want you to take it out of other places and put it in here. Actually, oh, I can only hold four things. Oh, dear. All right, I've got a plan. Hang on, hang on. I've got a plan. What's in the existing storage? Uh, iron and some nails. Okay, great. So I do want to make sure that in this storage, iron is here. How about we don't have firewood? Let's have nails instead. And you know what? We probably don't need reeds because those can be stored in the thatchery. So how about, um, we're not making any metal parts. How about firewood, I guess? Let's see if that works. Well, they're plugging away on the town hall nicely. This is coming along very well. It's a little bit glitched into the hill there, but that will look better when the building is up. I did manage to catch a time when everyone was out of the town center here, so I've deleted the logs, I deleted the cart storage, the old cart storage, and I very tentatively deleted the campfire. I assume that they have food cooking production facilities in their own home, you know, like a kitchen. That, that would be my thought, a kitchen where you cook food rather than having to come outside and cook it on a campfire. So I have deleted the campfire. Hopefully not everyone is going to starve to death or have to eat raw food, I guess, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. If people start, start dropping like flies or complaining about eating raw food, then we'll know. And I'm just now realizing I didn't hire anyone for the carpentry area. Ah, okay, you figured out to go there. Perfect, Arcady. Welcome, welcome. I feel we're going to get into a bit of a labor shortage. I mean, the forestry is back up and running. So everyone's finished whatever it is else they were doing, and they've gone back to work in forestry. Carpentry's taken care of. The smithy's running. But we only have a finite number of people in town, and there's a lot of jobs that we're starting to create here. Because I'd like to get the fishing dock up next, if I can afford the nails for the bridge. We need more people to move in. We need more migrants which leads me to think I should probably earmark an empty house for people to move in to. So I'm just kind of keeping an eye on my man down here with the hat and the fabulous mustache, and he's loading up some charcoal. What are you planning on doing with that? If I show your path, you are going to... Are you going to the smithy? Why does the smithy need charcoal? Oh, they probably do. I mean, they've got some on hand. They probably do for something. I don't know if we need that to make nails. I didn't really pay attention. I thought it was just iron, but maybe it's nails too. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on our iron quota too, or not quota, but our iron stock. 
because I have no capacity to make more of that, and I don't know what to do when we run out. But, all right, you're taking some over there. So are we storing charcoal in the warehouse? Because we could probably just blow that off then if it's being stored in the smithy. How about you stored, I don't know, just regular wood in there? That's fine. And the camp storage, the little shantytown tent storage, only has a little bit of iron left over. So if I say make this empty, um, well, what happens there? Really make empty. Yeah, of course. I like that little prompt. Are you sure you want to make it empty? You really want to make empty? Yeah, game, I really want to make it empty. Emptying storage, good. So they'll bring that iron somewhere else and I can get rid of that building. It looks like they're coming to the tail end of the town hall over there. And then I can get rid of that building. And then guys, it's gonna be a bunch of benches in the town square so you could all hang out together. Well, that was easy enough. They moved the iron and then the tent just disappeared. It just goes away. I didn't even have to delete it. And I think they are almost done with my town hall, which means I can get rid of this one, or at least I hope I can get rid of that one. I can't see why I couldn't. Definitely going to leave the well right where it is, because that just makes sense in the center of town. I mean, it's not really in centrally located to the houses, so everyone has to walk a really, really far away to get some water. Oh, and it's it's snowing. It's snowing in Austria because it's December. Okay, um, bundle up warm and try not to starve to death, guys, because I provided absolutely no food for you. It is definitely winter in Austria. The snows are here. We're getting some, well, semi-decent accumulation. Looks like got about half an inch there. Normally, I wouldn't even bother getting out the shovel for that. And these guys seem to be similarly inclined. They're just plowing through all of this. <laughs> Plow, snow, shovel. See what I did there? Um, they're just plowing through all of this to finish doing the town hall, which is taking forever, guys. Come on. Come on, I know it's winter, but let's get this hustling along here. If you get the town hall built, then I can build you a really nice town square. But before I do that, I think I am going to commit to my idea of one empty house to... Well, I don't know if it will attract migrants, but if a migrant does show up, they'll immediately have somewhere to live. They get a free house if they show up. I'm just thinking about that now. Like, you wander into my town in Austria, it's like, here's a free house. For no, no reason. You've done nothing to earn it. Oh, well, there's video games for you. There we go. We finally finished Town Hall over here. Yeah, I like that. That seems to be kind of the entrance to town. You would come over from this faraway land over here and you'd walk in. There'd be some houses. There's the Town Hall. You can pop in and go to the Information Center and learn about our town, any quaint history or local oddities that need to be checked out. And then you can proceed into town and go into the town square, which will eventually be kind of a shopping and commercial area. And then out to our industrial area where we've got the smithy and the carpentry and the forestry and whatnot. Yeah, I like the way this is coming together. Now, what do I do with the existing town hall? Can I just, can I make, oh, it just, oh, it goes away. Okay, bye. Thank you. That was much easier than I thought. Now that the real town hall is up, is there different things that I can do with this? It seems like the same town. Oh, we've got a mayor. Mayor Cor Cor Corny, Cor Cor Mayor, Mayor Mohawk and Mustache. Um, what can I do now? All right, I can start setting wages for people. I think that's a little different. Ah, and I can charge rent and adjust that. Good, good. That'll come in handy. So it's not exactly that you're getting a free house. You are paying rent on it. That's that's fine. Um, where are we at in terms of money? I mean, how much how much are we profitable? We are not. We're losing a hundred monies per time period. That that's all I got right now, and it's all salary. It's all salary. So housing rent is somewhere we can make money. Sales is somewhere I can make money. Who's buying? Is it us? Is it just a insulated, encapsulated economy where we're just buying and selling things to the 28 people in town? Because that's, that's a fixed amount of money. Anyway, um, if, if we need sales, let's get back to working on the market square kind of thing. So my options right now are Trading Post, which allows trading with other cities, or the Market Stall, which sells internally, internal sales. I think Trading Post might be a little adventurous for me at the moment. Actually, can I learn anything about this? Hire a manager, create new trade routes. Oh, so we are, we are manually setting a trade route. We're going to go out and find some people to sell to. 
Okay, that might be a little bit advanced class for me today. We may reinvestigate that. I want to get started on the market stall, which I apparently cost me nothing at all to put up. And why should it? It's it's a table and some tents. Oh yeah, this is going to be so town square. Okay, um, let's pop that right there. There you go, kids. Now, what do I actually do with this? Do I have to? Yeah, I have to s assign things. So, oh, all sorts of stuff. Lots and lots of things. Oh dear, this is far more complicated than I expected it to be. Uh, nothing that I was expecting to sell, though. I was going to think about selling like firewood or something that I actually have, but I suppose people are probably just getting that for free. It's just, they just go get it from forestry. Okay, so a whole bunch of things that I don't own. Well, I mean, I do, but they belong to people. I don't think I can convince them to go sell their, oh, there's firewood. Uh, great. Yeah, sure. Sell firewood. Um, can somebody work here? Yeah, you can work here. Um, can we just keep doing firewood? Because I think that's about all I have. Unless folks want to sell their own potatoes, that, that is an option if you want to do that. And this lady is apparently our new shopkeeper. And I'm just, you know, figuring out now, because this is how distance works, that she needs to go all the way down to the forestry to get the firewood and then come all the way back. Well, you know what? It's a good workout. You'll get your steps in. I don't think we've got too much else to do in the middle of winter where obviously I've set up no food production whatsoever. So everybody's on their own in terms of, well, the raw potatoes that I'm asking them to eat. Hope you guys can cook in your kitchen. I hope you have a kitchen. I hope it's not raw potatoes for the next three months. Anyway, I'm going to set up another house because somebody will eventually migrate here and they're going to want to have somewhere to live. So I think maybe something, uh, I generally like the fence snapping, but I think I, I don't want this fence to snap. Um, let's have some lakefront property here. What I'd like to do is, I wonder if I would have enough. No, I would try to put two houses there. Okay, that's one. fine. That's fine. That can live right there. You're going to have some lakefront property. Oh, and P.S. There's going to be a fishing dock over here when I have the nails to build the bridge. So just heads up, you're probably going to be fishing for a living. Well, I see there is firewood in the store. Can I, can I get an idea if anyone's actually buying this? Sold. Oh, okay. So no, nobody has bought it. But at least in the future... I will be able to see if somebody's actually paying money for this firewood. Uh, what can we do here? Make it empty, resources, or hiring options. Okay, don't really want to do any of that. It's just a firewood stand. It's actually overly decorative for a firewood stand. You could have just lumped them in a pile and people could have paid by the log. But here we are. I would not hate another cart stall. I think I feel those are important, probably more important than I'm giving them credit for. Maybe something down in the industrial zone down here. Uh, remind me where that lives. Trade and transport? Yeah, it's in here somewhere. Uh, market stall, wagon shed, cart parking. Okay, cart parking. You are going to park your carts somewhere in this neck of the woods. Ideally, like right about, how close can I get this in here? Right there? Perfect. Now, apparently we're running out of wood. They can't find wood anywhere. You really can't find it, guys. You really can't find any wood anywhere at all. Just nowhere on this map that you can find. Okay, what's the problem with forestry? Uh, do we need, can we hire more? Oh, nobody's working. That's why nobody is working because they're building the house. Yeah, um, hiring pool, labor shortage. This is the problem here. I really need some people to move in. The 28 people that we have are no longer cutting it. It was all fine and well when we were all sitting around the campfire building a single house. But now that we've actually got some things to do around here, um, we, are, we are a little tight on labor. Okay, well, it's just going to have to be built a lot more slowly then. That's all there is to it. They're going to have to do it as they can and probably go back to work in forestry, make some wood, go back to building the house. I don't care so long as you get it done. We're not doing anything else. It's the middle of January. I am encouraged that the families seem to have a lot of food still. So they've got 215 potatoes, which is an exceptionally large number of potatoes for one family to own. These guys have 134 potatoes and some fish, and this guy has an amazing beard. Uh, Simon, the child, does not have an amazing beard. Well, actually, Simon's 14. Simon, are you not working? 
because 14 isn't a perfectly acceptable age for you to be start working and maybe, I don't know, handling an axe, maybe chopping down some trees in one of the world's most dangerous professions, lumberjacking. Simon, grab an axe. We, we got things to do around here. Yeah, Lydia here, four years old, not at work. What is the problem with parenting these days? And by parenting these days, I mean parenting the days long before those pesky child labor laws. Lydia is four years old. That isn't a perfectly acceptable age to be doing, I don't know, anything at all. Maybe you could, you know what? You know what you'd be good at? The clay pit. You should, it'll be like, it'll be fun. It'll be like playing in a sandbox, except you're digging out clay and hauling it away in a cart for 12 to 14 hours a day without a break. Um, but you're four, so you'll bounce back from that really, really quickly. Well, what I'm going to do is just pause this house. Just pause that for right now because people need to get back to work. So that should free up the workers to get back to, yeah, I know. All right, let me pause this as well. Hang on. Pause that. Thank you. I know you can't find any wood, even though it's literally right there. And that 14 year old is going to be along with an ax any moment now. So get back to work so we can get some basic resources on hand. I think I just kind of need to let it tick along a little bit and build up supplies. We have we have nothing. We've kind of gone on a huge, huge construction boom here today. So let me just tick up some resources for a while. Yeah, I am really struggling to keep buildings open and working with the hiring pool that I have. We've kind of tapped out here. I'm going to take, I don't know if this will work. I'm going to fire somebody out of smithing and see if they'll go over to, to forestry. Would you, would you, there's a job opening right there, man. You just need to walk down the street. Let me look at my, um, what's my, what's, what's the population doing these days? Well, weirdly, we have an excessively high unemployment rate. We have 27% employment. That, that would cripple any country. Men, 11%. That's probably the guy I just fired. That's probably that one guy. And women, 44%. Well, women don't get to do all the jobs because we've gone back in a time machine. So they are a little limited into what they can do. What else is going on here? We are allowing migration. That is correct. Water supply is sufficient. Good. Not enough food for sale. That's because we're not producing any. Yeah, see, there's the thing. We're not producing any food. Therefore, there is no food for sale and no housing available. I know that because I need to get someone working in forestry so we can get some wood, so we can chop down some trees, so we could build a house. Well, the guy I fired did figure out to go get a job at forestry down the street. He's on his way over there right now, but I need to free up some other people. Uh, you, I'm sorry, we're just gonna have to shut down carpentry for the moment until, well, we have some wood. There's, there's no carpentry to be doing if there's no wood, sir. It's a simple supply chain. And who else could I free up around here to go do anything at all? Really, where else are people working? I mean, there's the smithy. There's nobody, a storage is a female, as I recall. Yeah, storage, women can work in storage, so I don't need to sweat that. Apparently, women can't chop down trees. I feel that they can. I feel they are perfectly capable of picking up an axe and chopping down a tree, but not in Ostriv. So I need to scare up another worker from somewhere. Okay, they figured it out. Somebody figured out to go to work here, so we have at least two guys in here. Great. Um, that's not really enough, but it'll get the job done for right now. At least, hopefully, you're producing some wood, which I think is where I just kind of need to let it tick along. I just want to keep this rolling and get some basic resources in. We might have to sit it out till spring, where we can get enough wood... Enough. Well, we've got plenty of thatch, I think, but uh, certainly enough wood, enough nails, except I just uh, fired the guy from the smithy, didn't I? No, there's still one more guy in there making nails. Again, I, I'm sorry, sir. I don't know how complicated it is to make a nail. I hope you can do it by yourself now that I fired your apprentice nail maker, but I think I just need to let some supplies tick in. So that is probably a good place to call it on Ostrov for right now. We'll pick up some more of this again next time, and next time... Because we're coming up on spring, I feel we need to focus on food production. We need some food of something. Animal, vegetable, well, that's pretty much it. Animals or vegetables, that's that's what we're likely to be eating. So we'll pick up some more ostrich next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. If you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. 
is more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. So, when I stab this guy in the neck, which I'm about to do, don't talk about it. Just keep shtum, please. Yes. We've got peasant boy, peasant girl, a few chickens, a bridge that doesn't work, and a giant mutant alien. I think our town is off to a roaring start right now. I have a badass tattoo, six-pack abs, and a belt buckle that says aloha. This is amazing. I want to be this guy.